rolling in that water over there. All right, guys, welcome back to another one. We're doing a little bass fishing today. We're on the beautiful Kemper Lake here in Mississippi. Uh, we came up here, going white perch fish some, crappie. Couldn't really find any, but I have caught two or three bass. Now, they're not just wearing it out. If I can't get crappie to bite, I can usually get bass to bite late in the evening. I'm fishing with a fluke. I've got a, it's actually a Bass Assassin's brand right now, Baby Shad. But anyway, I don't show you. That is the color that we fishing with. Got it on a red number three hook. And I'm just casting it up here in this grass and I'm just kind of bumping it slow. And uh, in between throws, I pick up my other pole. I've got them. Uh, my mind's went blank. I have one of them water bugs. The green one kind of looks like a green frog. Colored that way, but I'll show it to you. I'm throwing it, I've caught one. I've caught one. I actually had a KVD Strike King brand on fluke whenever I caught the other one. I may have to pull them out of live well to show you. May not catch near another one. What I'm doing is following this grass along these edges. And I'm just trolling along. It's two foot, two or three foot of water right where I'm at. And I'm sure it gets up to little or nothing up there close to the bank. But I bumped that and let it sit just a second and I bump it a couple of times. Just any erratic movement. I don't hardly ever do the same pattern over and over. I don't know how you like to do it. As long as you catching fish, I don't think it's just the wrong way. Late in the evening, it seems to get a little easier. People like me catch fish then. Yeah. I may have my name wrong. That's what I was fishing with. It might quit spinning where you can see it. Chatterbait, I think. Or something like that. And the reason it's on there is when I put my H&H &H up, I took it off, and that's what happened to be laying down. And I said, ah, let me try that. I have seen them hitting the top of the water in certain areas here. Y'all, I must admit, I'm really not a huge fan of foot control trolling motors. I'm about ready to get me one of them that I can turn and do with my hand up there because I like to stand up for most for bass fishing. Oh, I missed him. My fault. See if he's following me. Let's throw it back up in there. Okay. This thing ain't swimming like I like. And some old ones. 
my my screen has been went. These right here, I ain't crazy about. It's, I don't like the way they swim, and I'm fixing to put one of my good ones back on. I see them rolling. They chasing shad right here, right now. So I know that's what I need to be fishing with. This. That's what we're fixing to apply. The reason I don't have one on right now is I caught a fish on one and he jerked it off and destroyed it. It's kind of hurt my feeling. I didn't want to waste all my good baits, but if they was catching fish, they sell them every day. Not locally, I had to get online and order them from Bass Pro Shop. But those with that fat tail, they swim more realistically. Might order to put a devil's horse on that uh, pole pole, pop it along. I bet you they'd hit a devil's horse. What I'm finna do. Golly, did you see that? I can reach it. And they hit in top water. Devil's on. Devil's on. Not that I think it's so much better of a bait. I like to watch them explode on it. And if you don't, something's wrong with you. Oh, Lord, what a night. Now, I use one of my bass lures, what I call a fisherman's knot. I've probably showed this in some of my other videos. Uh, I realize right now you can't see crap about what I'm doing. Okay, this is what we fix and put on, and this is the way I tie my fisherman's knot. I put it on there and I twist. I get about six to seven twists, and I go through that loop above the eye of my lure, and then I come back through the loop that I just made. If that makes sense to you. I've got an old sportsman's book, and that knot's in there. It's called the Fisherman's Knot. I learned to tie it when I was a kid, and I've just always tied it because it's always worked for me on the large lures. And I'm, uh, I bet that one right there, I bet they could see that orange one right there. You see how they all hook together? I got a black one. I like devil's horses. I wish I knew how many fish that one right there had caught. See the paint knocked all off of it? Mm hmm. Mm. You know a bait's good when they absolutely beat the paint off of it. Let's see if we can get back over there. Whoa, 
we don't fall out. We need an automatic tripod. See how ugly I am. You ain't gotta be pretty to catch fish. I love this lake in the afternoon. It's peaceful and beautiful here. It's not very large. I don't even know how many acres it is. But you have to pay to launch. It ain't much, like $7. But that kind of weeds out the freebie fish. The fish every day. They don't want to pay $7 every day. They go somewhere else. I fish for the peace and the quiet and the enjoyment. I don't mean to offend y'all, but I keep fish. I know some of y'all might be a little new to my channel. Well, get a photo there for the cover shot there on the video. But if y'all new to my channel now, this is, we live out of the wild somewhat. I go to the grocery store occasionally, but I like God's grocery store out here. I know everybody's going to ask. I caught this on my Ambassador 1 Abu Garcia rod. This is the Black Max Abu Garcia reel. This is not the most expensive Abu Garcia they make, but I am a fan of Abu Garcia. Nothing against Luz and all these other guys, Daiwa and all of them. Uh, Fluger. And they some good reels out there. I don't have anything against no other reel. I just like Abu Garcia. Probably because that's what I started fishing with when I was a little kid. And we would go to the neighbor's bass pond that would let us bass fish. And my dad had an old open face Abu Garcia. And I've still got it. It's messed up. It don't work right. But I've still got it. Man, I had an orange pack of worms, and I caught bass on them same worms. The first one I caught today, I got him almost to the boat. I caught on that jig right there on my little mini rod. And he was bigger than that one that I just had, but I did not put him in the boat. He, uh, he, I let him get away from me. But anyway... See if we can get us another one. All right, we got him, boys. All right. 
Yeah. I like to watch them hit on that. You don't have a photo with this one. This is a little smaller than the other one. All right. Put him in that line. Well, it's getting dark. We got to hurry up and see if we can catch us another one. Oh, I missed him. Oh, he's come back for it. He wanted it. He wanted it. You need somebody here to tell you when to quit. Everybody else loading their boats up, going home to eat supper. Give it up, folks. Tell you what, though. Down there. But we're going to see. 